Marijuana is set for a movie makeover. Legal Pot is getting a big push for product placement in movies and shows. And marketers behind the scenes are chopping at the bit to get in on the action. There is big money to be made in legal marijuana, you think? Both on and off the set. And my next guest would know all about this. Having done some of the most famous product placement in history, joining us with more is marketing and PR consultant Cheryl Schumann. Cheryl, I, I want to start by bragging about your credits because I am told that you are the one that went out and picked the Ray-Ban Wayfarers for Tom Cruise to wear in Risky Business. Uh, I, we, well, know what, we know what happened in that case. I mean, 360,000 pairs of those Ray-Bans sold in only a few months after Risky Business. You also picked Meg Ryan's glasses that she wore in When Harry Met Sally, and seven million of those, when I even had a pair, I'm so embarrassed to say, seven million <laughs> of those flew off the shelf. So in those cases, who was paying you to pick those glasses, and how did you benefit from that? Well, um, first of all, thank you for having me on here, and uh, I loved your book, by the way. Thank so you. So that being said, um, it depends. I mean, it depends on which uh, studio it is. Sometimes it will be the studio or the prop master or the production company that will pay me. In some cases, like in Risky Business, for example, uh, those were handled by UPP, Unique Product Placement at the time, so they brought me in to do all of their anti-reflective lenses. And one of the great things about the laws in California back in those days is, as an optician, you had to be a licensed optician with the state medical board in order to make any kind of prescription or anti-reflective so lenses. Ray so Ray-Ban just lucked out. They weren't paying you to go in there and peddle their product and it was the same thing with the eyeglasses. They just lucked out by virtue of your placement. That's amazing. They they got lucky and the rest is history. The I rest mean, is history. Uh, okay, has always done a great job. Let's move on to POT before we run out of time. So yes. why, what is it exactly that you're trying to achieve? Because does POT have a bad image? I mean, don't lots of people want it? Well, here's the bottom line. The modern day cannabis consumer are women and single moms just like me. And, and the number one thing that I wanted to accomplish when I came out of the closet about my cannabis usage after my cancer is I wanted my children to be proud of me and not ashamed of me. So I started developing products like Kush Magazine and I started developing vaporizers and other products. For example, usually when you see uh, cannabis in a movie, it's through a bong or something. Right, so what it's I some to do is hippie something... guy with a tie dyed shirt and long hair and you're seeing I mean, do you have stats to back that up? The majority of users are single moms, or what, what was that that you were saying there? Yes, you know, I'm the spokesperson for Moms for Marijuana, actually, and there are over 80 million women across the country and across the entire world that literally are looking to enhance their lives. You know, think about Mother's Little Helper from the 60s, which was Valium back in the days. Today, people, you know, women like me, instead of using a glass of wine or something at the end of the day and using alcohol, cannabis is much safer and there's no calories, and also it's, it's less harmful than alcohol or tobacco. So what makes me a better mom when I come home from a very long day Day. And a lot of men also, when they're coming home from a long day, is they choose to use cannabis, you know, whether it be through a vaporizer like this that we make and uh, manufacture, okay. and they choose to use that when they when they uh, relax at the I, end of I the night. I think that there may be people out in the audience yelling at the television and, and disagreeing with what you just had to say, but that's not the point of our segment, so we're not going to tackle that right now. What we're talking about is your how you are moving to get this placed in movies. Now, have you had pushback from people who don't agree with your point of view that this that they want, you know, moms to be high while they're taking care of their kids and they're saying, we don't want this image on TV and in movies. And here you are actively being paid and working hard to to get this image into movies. You must get a lot of angry mail or I don't know, you know, Believe it or not, Melissa, actually cannabis approval ratings are at an all-time high. If you check with CNBC or CNN or even Fox Business News, you'll see that you know, when people see cannabis, you know, I mean, here's medicated chocolates, there's all kinds of products you can get with cannabis today. It's not the old school, you know, dirty bongs and joints with the homeless people in the alleyway. Today's modern cannabis consumer are women like me who work in the corporate world, who are highly educated. And what happens okay. in, in opposite, actually, is it's people coming out of the closet and it's a lifestyle okay. choice. So when I do do television, I get thousands of emails from women and men all across the country that say thank you so much okay. for allowing me to have the empowerment to come out of the closet about my cannabis usage. Cheryl, we are out of time. I have no doubt that we're going to get a lot of emails and tweets about this one. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate your time. Interesting perspective, thank to you. say the least. All right, Tom